Thank you for agreeing to meet with me. Perhaps you have already guessed what I wish to discuss. The word Capitale does not mean anything to you? Huh. For some time now, the organization that I represent has been using a unique system of exchange for our more sensitive business dealings. This we call Capitale. Private bonds with a value guaranteed by the reputation and considerable resources of my employer. It's a more uh, civilized way of doing things. Until every cutthroat and gutter trash got their filthy hands on them, it cannot be allowed to continue. The value of Capitale depends on a certain exclusivity. Understand? Come. I don't know how much you have heard of our ambitious new senator, Anton Ricard. He's an officious, naive man who has yet to learn how politics work. About his grand plans to make Lemoyne the star of the next year's state fair in Sacramento. He has also been making life very difficult for us. Come on. Excuse me for a moment. Oh, forgive me, Signor. I thought we'd be meeting alone. Who is this? He was just arrested by one of my men in the old quarter. I thought you might be interested to see what they found in his possession. How did you come by this? You stole it, yes? No, no. Please, Senor. Senor Martelli. Do not speak I, my name, I, Porco. I found it. I swear to you, I On did. On your knees. I did. I found it. I did. On your knees. I swear to you. No, no, please. I, Where did you steal it? I, I promise you that I didn't steal it. I will ask you only one more time. Where did you steal it? From some of the Cornwalls, boys. Le Leviticus Cornwall. <laughs> Thank you, Chief. I trust this man will face the full penalty of the law. Most assuredly, Signor. Good. Proceed. Was there, uh, anything else? No, I think that was enough, don't you? Yes, sir. So, to my proposition. You will find beads like that one as far from here as New Austin, if you know where to look. I need every piece of Capitale taken out of circulation and returned to me. I warn you, some of this work will require a strong constitution. In return, I will reward you with a unique business opportunity involving our friend, Senator Ricard. But that is for later. I wish to see the quality of your work before I reveal my hand. I'm sure you understand. Now, it is best we do not meet again. All further communication will be through my intermediaries. Some of them are friends of yours already. I believe Mr. Foreman, Mr. Langton. In any case, bring them enough capitale to impress me, and I assure you, it will be worth your while. Now, if you excuse me, buona caccia. I don't use them. Don't trust them. You know who makes the railroad? Parasites. They act like they're our saviors, but they're no better than me. They're worse. I'll prove it to you. There's a new track getting laid northeast of here. Go and steal their supplies. See how quickly the rabid dog bears its teeth. And they got some of your capitale, too. Up to their neck in it. What further proof do you need that they're filth? Go.
Hello? Tommy? You there? Shit! Wolf! Go, go, go! Who the hell is this? Fellas, we got trouble here. Give up! I'll make it quick! Whoever you are, I don't take no chances on the road at night. done good. Held a mirror up to the Central Union. Showed them the killers they are. They know you're working for the Italian. Things gonna get ugly now. So there's only one thing to do. Make them ugly first. Burn them. Pillage them. Ruin them. Convoys, supply trains, workers. This parasite's full of people's innocent blood. And your precious Capitale, for that matter. We just need to squeeze it till it pops. Your conscience is clear. Go.
You didn't get corrupted, did you? The railroad didn't buy you out? No, no. Impossible. You did well before. So, now, we bite the head off the snake. Silence its forked tongue for good. Squeeze the last drop of your filthy capitale out of its open neck. There's a bridge they're building. Near McFarland's ranch. Find a foreman. Make him tell you where his boss is hiding. And when you find the boss, you're gonna have to resist the urge to slit his throat. The Italian wants him alive. And what he wants, he gets. In Big Valley, my boss, that's who you're after, right? He's getting a train out east. Just, just don't kill me, please. Right there, shoot him after.
you I'll double it triple it just name your price please don't hand me over to those savages this is all because of the capitale isn't it look I swear I won't touch it again I won't have anything to do with it please <laughs> 